All right, today is going to be about this headlight assembly. This video is a day late because I was tired yesterday. Uh, I read my, I rode my bike all over, had a lot of errands to run yesterday on my bike. I was just exhausted. So I decided just to watch a movie instead. But today's project, eventually, is to work on this. I will show you the frame. I've been sanding on it and realized, especially after this project, that it always requires way more sanding than you think. Worked on painting these yesterday or last week and actually went back to strip the paint off of this one because the scratch marks were still visible. So I wanted to see how much sanding you needed to do. Well, that just let me know that I just have more sanding to do on the bike frame. I have started to rust it. I will show you guys that. But I just wanted to move on to a different project in the meantime. Right now, um, this is plastic and gray. I want it to match the bike frame. So it's gonna be light blue, it's gonna be rusty. I want it to look like metal. It has two cracks, one right here, one here. I am going to use hot glue and try to make it look like a felt fake weld line on both of these. I've never done that before, so that'll be interesting to learn. Alright, before I sand this, I'm going to add some supports. I'm just going to cut up this Q-tip box so that I can glue strips back here, give a little support. Alright, got two strips, got this piece. Before I start gluing, I'm going to take this out. All right, yeah, so now I'm gonna do that for the next several hours or days. I think I'm gonna restart and go back to, I'm gonna go add 220, try to add a little bit of a thicker grit to be able to take off some more. I stopped at 600. It's starting to get it smooth, but I just wanna see if I can restart and take a little bit more off and then just kind of restart the process again. All right, it's been a little while. Had some lunch and a nap and just been sanding on and off for a while. Let me show you guys. I'm happy with where it's at. So I think what I'm gonna do next is practice some hot gluing because I've never done this before. I've just got a scrap piece of cardboard 
and I'm just gonna practice and try to get get the line looking like I want it to. Like a, just a little bit of a messy weld. All right, so I've realized that if I'm trying to hold this onto the cardboard, it's gonna slip. I think I have to hold it up a little bit higher. starting to come along. I think what I'm going to have to do though is hold it above, get some glue, put it down, lift up and go like that and that'll give some of these bumps. I think it's that's starting to work. I think when I hold, press it down, I have to wait for a second so they can really get a grip. Yeah. I'm happy with that. So, set that aside. Let's give this a whirl. It's nice because the super glue, or the super glue, the glue is see-through, it's clear, so I can actually see what I'm working out with underneath. Oh, okay. Well, I just sprayed a bunch of glue everywhere. And the glue gun stopped working. Let's see how I started. There's that one. So I think what I'm gonna go do is I'm actually gonna stick this in the freezer. All right, it's been in the freezer for a while. Hopefully that makes getting all of the mess off a little easier. So yeah, I'm happy with how it looks. Just need to clean up all this extra stuff. All right, I went to prime it and realized I didn't really like the form of the hot glue. So I've taken it off, kind of re-sanded it, and I'm going to try again just to get better weld lines. All right, I went back and redid it twice to get the texture that I was looking for and just kept practicing because I was getting the beads of glue to look right and let's see and like here these little like the little bumps the little circles were, was looking good but it wasn't the right texture so I just took a break went and looked at some uh, reference photos again and redid it and then put two light coats of primer on and I think it's looking good. It's the texture that I'm looking for. So next I'm going to do silver and then I'm going to work on weathering it.
use that one. I'm gonna let this stuff dry, see if it needs a second coat. Okay, that is all dry. So the next step is to do some weathering and see if I can make this look a little dirtier. Add a little water to thin out the paint. All right, that is the black wash on the, the large weld. This is, this is, the small one has not been done yet. So this is just a good contrast. All right, that part is done. Pretty happy with how it turned out. I will be able to sand around this and blend in the rest of the primer and then the other paint. Still a lot of sanding to do obviously on this. Hopefully the next week of sanding will get the frame ready and I can do more on that next week and hopefully get that primed. So yeah, that is one more piece that is done and that is going to wrap it up for today.